Hey everybody, it's Tina from Trusted Tooth Tarot. I'm back. Thanks so much to everybody for your patience. I didn't get the rest of the monthlies up, guys. I was sick as a dog. Uh, I don't want to get too much into it, but I had what was presenting itself like the flu for about a week, turned into like a major respiratory infection type of thing, had this crazy cough that wouldn't go away, and then I got like a stomach flu on top of it last week. It's not been a great month. So anyway, feeling better. If you're waiting on a personal reading from me, please don't fret. Um, they're on the way. I'm spending the entire night tonight and tomorrow night dedicated specifically to personals. So um, it should be caught up by the end of tomorrow evening. Anyway, let's get into it for this week, guys. It's going to be the third party situation conversation. As a disclaimer, um, this reading is not for folks who are trying to interrupt or disrupt a happy relationship. This is for those of you who um, have been introduced or somehow brought by the universe to the love of your life, somebody that you love very dearly, they just happen to be involved, or vice versa, you're involved and you have somebody on the side uh, and you're not sure what to do, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Sorry, guys, my cat is messing with the cord here. Okay, here we go. Third party situation conversation, week of November 12th. Some of y'all are fed up. Seven of Pentacles reverse. You're tired of putting an effort or work <clears throat> into something that's not working out. Sorry, my cat, guys. Lord of mercy. Twinkle, stop. She's going to knock this over. All right, let me see. Ooh, Ace of Wands is here. Hmm. Now... Ace of Wands can be a fire sign, obviously. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be, though. Ace of Wands is passion. It's a new beginning. Um, also, for some of you guys, this could be something that you might have been fed up with a relationship and had a one-night stand or something started as a one-night stand. That's what we refer to as the, the D-stick card, okay? So, um, very phallic symbol there, okay? Passionately attracted to someone, somebody passionately attracted to you. Hangman reverse. Woo. Okay, here I, I think I see where this is going, you guys. Hold on. That means somebody's making a decision. They are no longer hung up on something. Oh, Empress reverse. Ouch. Okay. Holy shit. This took a side left turn. Let me see real quick. Okay, Six of Wands reverse. Not marching towards victory, not even trying to anymore from what I can see here. Um... Five of Swords, conflict is, is on the horizon, guys. It's arguments, usually verbal, sometimes electronic communication, emails, things like that. Oh, Five of Wands, nah-uh. Damn. Y'all need to be careful not to get caught up into any physical altercations because that could be indicative of that. But you're, somebody's fighting about something or they're fighting for something. Let me get the rest of these cards out. Knight of Pentacles reversed. If somebody was being slow with you, real slow, it's picking up. Reversed means for the Knight of Pentacles, because he's the slowest moving knight in the deck. When I see him reversed, it means that things are speeding along. What the heck? This went, oh, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Damn. Bad timing. Hold on. Shit. Okay, I, I see where this is going. Let me see. Four of Wands. Three of Wands. King of Cups reverse. Again, King of Cups reverse crown in the reading, guys. Water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's just the energy of that card is somebody being irrational, very upset, okay? The cu the water, the cups are all about emotions, water, energy, okay? Very emotional. When he's like this, he's totally stable. He's great. He's loving. He's kind. He's compassionate. When he's like this, he's he's off the, like, off the charts, you know? He's pissed off. Um, feeling hurt, betrayed, um, you know... Uh, again, irrational, irrational feelings. Now, okay, it's going to go a couple ways, guys. One of you, uh, one group of you is seeing things for what it really is. It was just sex, okay? It was Ace of Wands, right? Seven of Pentacles reverse. They were not putting in the effort, or you didn't really want to put in the effort on this. It wasn't anything to you except a sexual attraction or to them except a sexual attraction, okay? You're not going to stay hung up trying to be somebody's empress here when you know damn good and well it's not worth the fight is what I'm seeing here. It's just bad timing was at play. Wheel of Fortune reversed, right? You're headed in a different direction here, and this is towards happy home, happy family, stability, celebrations, 
joy, marriage, okay? Three of wands, four of wands. Now, for the other part of you, um, this is a completely different story. I'm going to clarify, too. Uh, other half of you, it's like you, uh, if you're the one that is, that has two people, you're deciding, right? And for some of you guys, that means uh, leaving your empress, a.k.a. your wife, okay, behind, spouse, partner, whatever it is, or leaving behind the relationship that offers no growth potential, okay? It's too much of a battle. Sorry about that, guys. little cat butt for you. Um, it's too much of a battle. There's too much conflict in this relationship now, right? And I think for some of you guys, you tried to put effort into this in the past. Like, you really did. You had this Seven of Pentacles energy going, trying to fix things. But you're just like, you know, it's really unfortunate, but I'm going to have to bounce out towards greener pastures. And for, and for those of you that I'm speaking to in this set, greener pastures may very well be the new person, okay? Because you're just not... You're not feeling the love anymore. And, and as a matter of fact, for those who I'm speaking to, you know, you're not even sad about it anymore because what's this five of cups all about, right? Three cups is spilled, sure. Yeah, there's spilled cups. Yep, mm-hmm, there's been loss here. But when you look at this reverse, he's seeing now the two of cups that's right behind him on his coattails, you know? He sees that that is there. He realizes that there's, there's love beyond this, you know, tumultuous, crazy, a conflicted relationship that he's been bound to for so long, okay? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Third parties, why is this here? Damn, yeah, nine of wands. So again, instead of, you're, you're no longer, pro, somebody's no longer proactively working towards planting seeds, right? They're done. The seeds didn't grow. Now they're on defense. They're like, how the hell do I get out of this? What do I do in order to move past this situation that I no longer want to invest in, Okay. Ace of Wands, world reverse. Ooh, I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, hold on, let me pick that back up. <laughs> so either somebody like rocked your rocked your pants off, right? Like turned your world upside down sexually. Okay. Others of you, um, you realize that this is never going to be full circle. It's just going to be based on sex. Okay. So again, take that for what it is. I'm speaking to every zodiac sign here. This is extremely general, guys. So it's hard to. Yep. Okay. So, ooh, loaded, loaded. Hangman reversed. Clarified. Two cards fell out. Seven of swords reversed. Four of wands reversed. You guys, somebody got caught in the act, and right, and it busted up what was a marriage. All right. So somebody gets caught cheating, lying, being deceptive. You may have caught your partner doing this. You may have been caught doing this, or may be caught doing this. Okay. Um, with that seven of swords reverse, and it like busts up whatever established foundation there was here within a relationship. Usually, the four of wands is a home situation so living together marriage that type of thing okay um others of you you came to the realization especially if you're on the outside of the third party looking in you're the third wheel uh you're looking at this situation more or less now like that's just a sneaky motherfucker you know all he really wanted from me from the get was sex you know you're sitting here hoping for this world to come this culmination and this wheel of fortune it's not manifesting right and it's because this person really just had their eye on the prize here and the prize was your booty okay so empress reversed empress reversed something flipped over nine of pentacles all right you guys know what that is right so, again, choosing to be single, choosing to go back to your roots, right? Uh, Nine of Pentacles, she's got everything she needs. She don't need no emperor, okay? Um, she is totally fine on her own. Um, very single, well-established, takes care of herself financially, emotionally, everything, okay? Takes care of others, too, when she feels like it, but she don't have to, right? Um, so, for some of you guys, it's going from being married to being single, all right? That's going to be one group the other group of you it's literally um you're not trying to be this empress for somebody that doesn't appreciate this right so you're like f this i'm out i'm just gonna be single and enjoy myself count my coins right okay six of wands reverse six of wands reverse why is it six of wands reverse ace of wands reverse yep y'all are like there's no victory in just trying to get some booty you're, you're blocking them right completely because we are cutting off sex for sure, you know, um, any relationship that was solely sex based and you came to that realization with the world reversed, y'all are done. Okay. You're done with it. And if you caught somebody lying, maybe, they, I mean, it could have been too with the four. I'm not even joking. Some of y'all might've caught somebody that you thought was like, you know, really into you or whatever. 
they may have had another third party, aka a fourth party, okay? So so they got their their you know main piece and then they got you as a side piece and then they got another side piece. So I'm telling you, some of these people are running around here like that. Y'all need to be careful. Five of swords, five of swords. Five of swords. Okay, king of pentacles reverse. Yeah, this guy was not gonna step up and be your husband. Or he was not a good husband. It was too conflicted, right? He wasn't providing you the stability that you needed here financially or emotionally. Um, so again, you're stepping out of the situation or you're just like, you know what? You're not ever going to be what I deserve. Five of wands. Five of wands. Let me see. Five of swords. Again, you guys, this is battles. Okay, when does Mercury go retrograde? Because Venus is still retro. No, it's not. It's in the shadow period coming out of retro. It's direct back in Libra. Mercury goes retrograde soon, if it's not already. So I got my retrograde shirt on to kind of celebrate, commemorate the occasion. That's my ruling planet, Mercury. So, um, yeah, this is fights, guys. We got two five of swords upright and a five of wands. Yeah, fighting, okay, either fighting with somebody, physically fighting, verbally fighting, or fighting really hard for yourself, for what you believe in, for the better life, okay? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, yeah. I'm going Eight of Pentacles reversed. Again, it's in, you're not investing in something that was just not going to pay off anymore. And this can go both ways, guys. This could be you as the third party saying, you know what? This was never going to be what I want it to be. It's never going to, you're never going to be the King of Pentacles to me, you know? You're just not going to. So I'm walking away from this. Others of you, um, it's post-haste. You know, you met somebody else or they met you and they're like, fuck this. I've been trying to fix this relationship for years and it's not been working. They're headed straight to you. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Woo, reverse. Well, you know what? Timing was off, but happiness sure wasn't. The reason that wheel was reverse, unfortunate timing, okay, is because, again, we have the sun. All right. Um, uh, this is the card of pure joy, happiness, abundance, you know, all of those things. They may have felt like they ha they were very unlucky in life and in love previously, but then it's like they meet you and bam. Others of you, you're getting rid of anybody that's not allowing your wheel to turn in the right direction, you know. You're getting rid of that, focusing on your happiness. For some of you, this is children as well, focusing on them. Okay, three of wands, two of pentacles. Damn, we still got juggling energy. Juggling ass energy. No. Let me see. Let's pull another one. Why is the two of pentacles here clarifying three of wands, please? Six of swords reversed. Ugh. Shit. All right. So, I mean, I'm going to read it like I see it. You know, it may, this is a conflicted week, guys. There's a lot of conflict, inner and outer conflict this week. Um, some of you guys, it, it's like the par one party is just hell bent. They're not going to be investing in shit anymore. That's not worth it. No matter who that is. Okay. They take that, you know, pinnacle and walk off, right? They're leaving. And then it's like, yeah, I'm looking at me. I'm, I'm investing in me, blah, 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 two majors. But then it kind of flips around. I'm out of here. And it's like, but wait a minute, maybe I'm not, I might go back. So we have more indecisiveness four of wands why is the four of wands here for third party situations third party situations four of wands magician and result is good though okay manifesting happy homes happy family this is also double confirmation of surprises okay so some of you guys are going to get a big surprise towards the end of the week let me see if i can get one more on that one please spirit thank you page of swords communication if you're not speaking to that person page of swords says communication will be coming in and you'll be like what <laughs> did they just really text me or call me or whatever okay tell you something that's like a shocker apply that to your situation okay all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in a personal reading, please email me, trustintruthtara at gmail.com. Be happy to set something up for you. Um, have a wonderful week, everyone. Take very good care of yourselves. Lots of love and light, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.